Salesforce has officially assigned a code to this certification. It's the Salesforce Certified Agent Force Specialist AI201. In this video, powered by Pass for Future, we'll cover the latest platform update, the exact exam details, and the domain breakdown you must master. We'll also point you to practice questions with explanations so you can pass AI201 with confidence. Quick update. You'll register and take this exam via Trailhead Academy with options to test online or at a testing center. Here are the facts that matter. 60 questions plus up to five unscored, 105 minutes, passing score 73%, and your first attempt is free through 2025 as part of Salesforce's AI for All initiative. Retake is $100. Build your study plan around these domains. Prompt engineering, 30%, agent force concepts, 30%, agent force and data cloud, 20%, agent force and service cloud, 10%, and agent force and sales cloud, 10%. Question one, you need consistent structured outputs that downstream automations can parse. What should you add to your prompt builder template? A, a friendly tone and a few emojis for clarity. B, an explicit output schema with required fields and format rules, or C, higher temperature to increase creativity? Correct answer is B, an explicit output schema with required fields and format rules. Structured output constrains responses, producing predictable fields suitable for flows and integrations. Question two. Legal requires grounded responses with citations from approved sources. What's the best approach? A. Ask the model to think step-by-step step without any sources. B. Attach verified knowledge to the prompt and reference it via variables. C. Increase max tokens so the model explains more. Correct answer is B. Attach verified knowledge to the prompt and reference it via variables. Here's why. Grounding reduces hallucinations by injecting trusted contexts and variables ensure consistent retrieval of those sources. Question three. Your prompt often returns overly long responses that break the UI layout. What should you change first? A. Add explicit length limits and format instructions in the prompt. B. Disable all grounding sources. C. Only reduce the temperature to 0.0. .0. Correct answer is A. Add explicit length limits and format instructions in the prompt. Here's why. Clear constraints, max words, bullet points, JSON length, are the most direct control for output size and readability. Question four. You are building an agent that must schedule appointments and update records securely. Where should you define callable actions? A, as plain text instructions inside the user prompt. B, as tools or actions in agent builder with input output schemas where C, inside a dashboard filter panel? Correct answer is B, as tools or actions in Agent Builder with input and output schemas. Here's why. Agent Builder exposes safe schema validated tools that the agent can invoke with guardrails during orchestration. Question five. Stakeholders want to compare two agent personas and toolkits before go live. What should you use? A, Agent Force Testing Center to run controlled scenarios. B, untracked ad hoc chats with screenshots. Or C, only unit tests in Apex for prompts. Correct answer is A, Agent Force Testing Center to run controlled scenarios, compare runs, and validate outcomes with different prompts and tools. Question six, security mandates that secrets and tokens are never surfaced in model outputs. How do you enforce this? A, set temperature lower so the model is left sulcative. B, configure guardrails or content policies to redact sensitive data in responses. C, train users not to paste secrets. The correct answer is B, configure guardrails or content policies to redact sensitive data in responses. Here's why. 
guardrails and policies block or sanitize sensitive content before it reaches the end user. Question seven, you want the agent to personalize recommendations using unified customer profiles. What should you configure? A, a generic prompt with no data connection. B, a data cloud retriever via the data library referenced in the prompt. C, manual CSV uploads by the user during each chat. The correct answer is B, a data cloud retriever via the data library referenced in the prompt. Here's why. Retrievers ground prompts with trusted profile or attributes from data cloud for personalized responses. Question eight. Compliance requires excluding customers who have not granted consent from any activation. How should the agent handle this? A, ignore consent in data cloud, filter later in destinations. B, use consent-aware segments or attributes from the data library and the prompt and tool logic. C, ask the agent to guess based on past interactions. The correct answer is B, use consent-aware data from the data library in the prompt and tool logic. Here's why. Consent-aware data ensures compliant targeting at the source and keeps responses and activations policy aligned. Question 10. Sales leaders want daily account snapshots with insights in recommended next steps delivered to reps. What should you implement? A, a scheduled agent force agent that fetches CRM data and composes insights via a grounded prompt. B, weekly manual exports to spreadsheets. C, a bat that emails raw database rows. The correct answer is A, a scheduled agent force agent that fetches sales cloud data and composes a grounded prompt. Here's why. Uh, scheduling an agent to retrieve sales cloud data and generate grounded summaries automates insight delivery at scale. Thanks for watching. Ready to pass AI 201? Get domain mapped practice questions with explanations. Link in the description. Start now.